Alright, hopefully this should be a relatively short video. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while, in fact I first made some notes for it back in early 2009 when I first started to learn about Detroit and the steel industry and how that was basically collapsing for a multitude of reasons. Got like a, a small headline I want to read. This is uh, from the natural gas main explosion that happened in the Bay Area recently. Natural gas mains made of steel, including the one that apparently failed in the California explosion, are considered especially susceptible to corrosion and leaking, leading regulators in some states to consider replacing them. Alright, so... Infrastructure. Aging infrastructure. Corrosion. It's just a fact of life, right? Not necessarily. It depends on the kind of materials that you're using. Throughout civilization, all great advancements have been made possible by the means of superior materials for construction, fabrication, etc. They understood this in the 1920s when there was sort of a populist movement towards using superior materials, materials that would endure. Things like stainless steel, for example. The, uh, the top of the Empire State Building is to this day uh, made out of stainless steel. And that will last probably a hundred thousand years. <laughs> so I'm sure most of you are already aware of Obama's big push to um, invest and revitalize our domestic infrastructure. Brilliant idea, mainly because it's been um, empirically proven that investing in infrastructure um, aids in long-term prosperity. If we're going to rebuild our infrastructure, which is sort of an inc incomprehensible investment. We should do it right. Which means we stop using these inferior building materials like conventional steel. The beauty of using stainless steel is that even if it turns out that the things we build out of stainless steel we're taking us in the wrong direction that steel can always be reclaimed recycled and reused so what does this have to do with Detroit you might be thinking what does this have to do with the um, gas main explosion well so how do we revitalize America's steel industry now this is a bit of a long shot but it's sort of a mixture of ideas that I had. First of all, we need to subsidize the steel industry. Second of all, we need to invest in sustainable steel. So you want to put Detroit back to work. Put them back to work doing something that is truly meaningful, that will have a legacy. Put them to work making stainless steel. The advantages of using stainless steel versus conventional steel is manifold. First of all, it's 100% recyclable, so if you need steel that you've allocated or used in one project for something else, you can always reclaim that steel. Secondly, stainless steel is virtually immune to the kind of normal corrosion that a lot of steel is highly susceptible to. Speaking of corrosion, how much do you think the United States spends annually combating corrosion? 
two to three percent of our entire GDP. You know how much money that is? That is a lot of money. Stainless steel is naturally antibacterial. If there's one downside to stainless steel, it's the most obvious, and that's that it's prohibitively expensive in comparison to regular steel. But that is really an evaluation that does not apply holistic analysis. For example, if you build a bridge out of regular steel, you have to paint it regularly. That costs money. Uh, it requires constant maintenance. <clears throat> and of course, eventually, parts are going to corrode to the extent that they need to be completely replaced. Not so with stainless steel. This is a very common mistake that's made in modern business analysis. And that's sort of this idea that going for the cheap short-term solution is better than going for the expensive long-term solution. That may make sense to a certain degree and in certain circumstances, but overall it's a very poor strategy and in the long term you actually end up paying considerably more if you've gone with the more sensible long-term solution. And this is all of course revealed by holistic analysis. If you realize that you know the cost of having to paint a conventional steel bridge every you know four years, that's that costs a tremendous amount of money. And then there's maintenance costs and all the workers that have to maintain that bridge and then there's the safety risks if corrosion causes parts to fail well on the other hand you have say a bridge made out of stainless steel it's virtually maintenance free it doesn't need to be painted doesn't require any additional work if it's engineered and built properly it will pretty much endure and even outlast the landscape that supports the bridge itself. That explosion in the Bay Area, it didn't have to happen. And that's because when they originally installed those pipes, they weren't thinking fourth dimensionally. They weren't thinking holistically. They weren't thinking ahead. They were just thinking, we use the cheap and easy solution now, which has become sort of the predominant theme of our age. You know, if they'd been thinking fourth dimensionally, they would have thought, hmm, maybe in uh, 40 years uh, this pipe is going to start to corrode and then there's going to be an explosion. It's going to kill a bunch of people. Maybe if we used a stainless steel pipe today, it would save money and lives in the future. And the additional benefit there is that instead of that pipe rusting away to nothing, you know, completely losing its form and coherency underground, it would, if it was made out of stainless steel, it would have just as much integrity today as it did when it was put in the ground. And say, for example, we want to move away from using nat natural gas, we can dig up that pipe, melt it down, and make something else out of that stainless steel that will last, you know, another 30, 40,000 years before it needs to be recycled yet again. So, that's my American Steel video, and uh, I would really appreciate any kind of constructive comments, especially from individuals who have knowledge or expertise in the steel industry. Thanks for watching.